All right, guys, another RZE. This is the, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I think it's called the Ascentus, and it is a GMT. So here we go with those really cool micro brands using the GMT movements. In this case, it is the NH34 from Seiko, and I'm excited to see this one. Checks a lot of boxes for me. It's titanium. It has a beautiful, they call it medallion yellow, but it's kind of an orangish color. I really dig it. And it's just well built. It's scratch resistant coating over the titanium. So it should look really good for a long time. So let's get into the size on this thing. This is a 40 millimeter watch. The lug to lug is a 46. You have drilled lugs. 13 millimeter thick. You can see the sapphire crystal sits just proud. And it's not really chamfered. It's actually kind of rounded where it goes up and it's flat. It has AR coating on the underside. Has a 20 millimeter lug width there, so you can put different straps on it, FKM rubber, do whatever you want there. But it also has this really well done bracelet, which is completely matching the watch case. And it tapers down to 16 millimeter. Now the clasp system, you have a ton of micro adjust there, six of them, double pushers there for the release, single post, and then it has the fold over clasp. So very clean done. You have quick release spring bars on there. So you can swap out and put an FKM rubber on there, which would be great as well. Really quick if you wanted to. It has an oversized crown and a screw down. It is a seven and a half millimeter signed crown, keeping the 200 meter water resistance on this. Sized up for my wrist, weighs about 100 grams. So nice and lightweight. And then that just overall comfortable feel and hypoallergenic nature that the titanium material offers. The bezel is actually titanium as well but it is DLC. So it has that diamond-like coating on there. It's gonna be extremely scratch resistant, just like the entire watch is, because it has a similar coating on it. It's just more of a blasted raw titanium look. It is 120 click bezel, but it is unidirectional. That was probably my only gripe that I could potentially take towards this watch, is I would like to see a bi-directional bezel on there. I'm really also a big fan of the font they used in the numerals in the bezel. They're kind of slightly cartoonish, and I just love that uh, approach to a less serious side of watches. Because we are dealing with micro brands here, we get incredible value. This is a $549 watch. You're getting a lot of watch for the money. So you do have a smooth bezel action around here, so you can keep track of a third time zone if you want. Nice texturing on the dial, applied indices. You're going to have great loom on this, like you expect with RZ and, my, and most micro brands, honestly. You have a, a dark framed date window that has a color match date wheel with a black printing. And that dark framed handset and indices also aid in the legibility of the watch. And rather than a chapter ring on this, you have more of a riot where it's just straight up and down, so it gives you a larger visual presence with the dial. Take a look at the case back there. These are numbered as well. You can see it down there below the RZE logo. And I'm just a huge fan of RZE. Like I said, titanium, micro brand, loom, quality builds. Attention to detail, good quality control, all of that. All plays into this. The bracelet also uses screw pins for the adjustable side of things. So you'll, and these are pretty short links, so you'll be able to get a good size on that. Also inside here, Viton gaskets. Those are supreme, those are like top notch quality gaskets. So you'll know they'll last a long time and it'll keep the water resistance level very high. Now, if we unscrew the crown, nice threading on this case, nice pop to the crown. That first position, you'll be able to wind the movement, move it out one position. You can adjust the GMT hand, you can see there. And then if you spin it the other way, you'll be able to adjust the date. So you can only adjust the GMT hand forward on the NH34 movement. That's just the way it works. If you go all the way out, it hacks the movement, stopping the seconds hand, and then you can adjust the time. Screwing it in, typically I would highly recommend back spinning the crown while pushing in until you feel it drop down into its thread. 
then screw it in for no risk of cross threading. Let's pop this on my wrist so you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Looks, feels, wears great. Very comfortable, lightweight. And I love this color. If it were up to me, every RZ I get on the channel would be in this medallion color. I absolutely, it's just perfect. They nailed the colorway. All right, let's kill the lights. Check the loom on this. Before we do that, I'm gonna give it a quick blast with the UV light because we want the full effect. There we go. We have loomed out bezel, kind of in blue, BGW-9, I am assuming. You also have a touch of BGW-9 on the cardinal positions, the 12, the 6, and the 9. The 3 is the date. And then, of course, you have the BGW-9 on the GMT hand. The rest of it's all going to be some sort of C3 variant or green loom. Well done. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.